Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. I'll tell you what, it's starting to feel more and more like home right here on Good Morning Vale. I am Tracy Miller and I brought my daughter Cassidy in this morning. Thanks for coming in, sweetie. We Welcome. are going, what are we gonna make this morning? We are making a breakfast lasagna with cheese, hash browns, zucchinis, ham, and egg, and scrambled eggs. And this is a menu that Cassidy created herself because I said, hey, we're going to go cook on air together. What should we make for breakfast for everybody? And she said, I think we should make a breakfast lasagna. So, of course, we had to get some veggies into the mix because colorful cooking always does that. And so the lasagna turned out to be a fabulous idea. And Cassidy's going to show us how to assemble it while I cook some scrambled eggs on the side. So what's the first thing you do, sweetie? First thing we do is we put in half of the hash browns. And we've already cooked the hash browns, correct? Yes. How did you cook those? We baked them in a pan. We cooked them in a pan. Yes, we did. And we and we we bought them already shredded, so we kind of like took the easy way out. Of course, you can buy your potatoes and then you can shred them by yourself if you want, but we decided we were just going to buy them already shredded just to make it a little bit easier, and we fried them up in a pan that was really hot, a nonstick pan if you want to cook these hash browns really nicely. So we're going to make a layer of hash browns, and then what's going to be our next layer? The zucchini. And the zucchini will be our next layer, and I was really excited because when we were grocery shopping, I said to Cassidy, hey, you know it's colorful cooking. That means we add fruits and vegetables to everything. What kind of vegetable should we have in there? And you said zucchini. zucchini. And it turned out to be really, really good. So we thinly sliced the zucchini so that it would be one of the parts of the lasagna. And you could really do as many layers as you want. We decided though to cook the eggs separately because we were really afraid that the eggs were going to get overcooked if we cooked them in the pan. So we're going to make the we're going to make the lasagna separately and have the eggs separately as well. And what are you doing with that right now? I'm putting each of the zucchinis down so they have every bite has zucchinis in it. Every bite has zucchinis in it. Is she brilliant or what? That's like when you're making a sandwich or whenever you're making anything, you want every bite to have nice coverage. And that looks like we're going to do that. No, that's all right. We can let that one get crispy right there. Okay, so we have the potatoes on the bottom. Now we have the zucchini on the top. What's next? Cheese. Some cheese. And we have a mixture of Monterey Jack and cheddar. And we're not going to overdo it on the cheese, are we, Cassidy? Because nope. she just doesn't like it when it's overdone. You know when you're making a gr grilled cheese? cheese you need to have a good mixture of cheeses and good melty cheeses and Monterey Jack happens to be a really nice one if you wanted to step this up and fancy it up a little bit you could use a Gruyere or a Fontina but we're just doing a nice layer okay so now these are our layers for our breakfast lasagna we have potatoes zucchini and cheese and what's next my dear we have ham we have deli sliced black forest ham and you were saying that you thought the ham was only okay so what would you suggest other people if they think I don't want ham what would you suggest that they put in there bacon or sausage Ooh, bacon would be nice and if you did put bacon in there we're getting like some cheers from the back did you hear them going yeah bacon bacon if you wanted to use bacon I would suggest that you cook it before you put it in here because it wouldn't crisp up at all so if you're gonna use bacon make sure that you pre cook it before you put it into your breakfast lasagna Nice, but see, ham makes it really easy to layer, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, now we've got our four layers. What are you gonna do next? We, next, we have the next layer. The next layer, which will be what? Hash browns. Yep, so we'll put another layer of hash browns on here. Look, our eggs are starting to cook up really nicely. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees as well, and we're gonna cook it for just about 30 minutes, and that's really gonna make those hash browns nice and crispy, which is exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so now we have hash browns, zucchini, ham, Oops. cheese, hash browns, cheese oh we weren't going to do a zucchini on the second one were we? oh yeah yeah we decided we were just going to do a one layer of zucchini which turned out really nice so cover that up with some cheese and then we're going to put the rest of the extra cheese in these scrambled eggs too and make them nice and cheesy because the scrambled eggs are almost done and then all we're going to do that looks really nice dad you could just put it all put all the cheese okay. in there we don't need them in our scrambled eggs okay there you go now we have our finished product I think it was really nice when we pushed it down a little bit. Do you want to be in charge of pushing yes. it down? 
Do you like cooking, Cassidy? Yeah. Yeah, and you're really good at it, too. This is really Thank her you. original recipe. So I'm going to say proudly, as her proud mom right now, that this is turning out absolutely Thank delicious. You. Do you want to do another layer of ham? Yeah. We're going to do another layer of ham because we have a little more. And you know it's a lasagna, so you can kind of have a free form when you're going out there. We've got scrambled eggs that we're going to be serving on the side. And Cassidy, tonight up in Beaver Creek is Disco Skate Night. And I wanted to talk to you about that for a couple minutes because you went up there with a friend last week. Did you have a good time? Yeah. What did you like best about it? Uh, skating under the lights and there was a raffle that you could enter for free and win prizes. And you won something, didn't you? Yeah. And who else in our group won something? Didn't Emma win yeah, something too? Emma. Okay, so yeah, we had we had some really good winners. Okay, we're gonna move over to the oven now. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna open the oven for you. Okay. It's at 350 degrees, and we're just gonna pop it in the oven uncovered. Be careful, and we're gonna close that and cook it for 30 minutes, and then it's gonna really crisp up those potatoes and make them really nice. And here we do, we have a finished product that we cooked a little bit earlier, and we put a little dollop of sour cream on it. Are you happy about that dollop of sour cream? Yes. I think that'll be good because the potatoes are in there. Yeah. Okay, so disco skate night was fun. That happens tonight up in Beaver Creek. This recipe is awesome. We have a finished product right over here. It's breakfast lasagna, and it's created by Cat. Cassidy. So we're going to have to dig in and eat that now, aren't we? Yep. You've been a great model all day long. Should we get Mark Sassy? Look, is he drooling over there? Drooling. Does he look like he wants to have some food? Yes. Okay, should we invite him in here to have yeah. some food with us? All yeah. right, come on down, Mark Sassy. I'm coming. I'm on my you, way. You are the next mm -hmm. one right here. Okay, let's get some forks out. You, you guys out have been too. doing this all morning. She's been over here right doing here. stuff, and it's smelling so good. Right here. It smells so good. And look at, I mean, this is Cassidy's recipe, and I like how crispy. Oh, awesome. You can see so that. Good. It got nice and crispy. Yeah, so. it did. All right, so let's take a bite yeah. of this and see how this you turned out. Too. And you can definitely have, like, a really nice breakfast casserole. Just stay away from Mark's hands because, you know, once he sees food around. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what else? Like you said, it's free form. So if you wanted to use other vegetables, if you wanted to add, like you said, bacon or sausage, mm -hmm. a fun cheese, you can do it with this. You can do all the Delicious. things you want but really creating something with the hash browns on the bottom is going to be delicious and oh, if you yeah. wanted to use mushrooms you would probably want to pre-cook those mushrooms I was worried that the zucchini was going to leak too much moisture but it really didn't mm. it really gave us a nice bite and it kept its nice consistency great job you did a great <laughs> job this you is tune so in, delicious tune in tomorrow and I'm going to let you know actually how good it is because I'm going to be having that flavor in my mouth all day long <laughs> thanks for joining us today we'll see you tomorrow right here on Good Morning Vale.